Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to find intent and entities without using Louis model or CLU model. For that, I have created one NuGet package called Semantic Kernel Plugin Intent. You can use this plugin or you can directly use Azure OpenAI service also to implement this feature. The idea here is I'm using Semantic Kernel Plugin because in future video tutorial, I'm going to focus on the Semantic Kernel plugin with other features. So that's the reason I use this plugin. Let's start how to implement this concept in board framework application. In Visual Studio, I have created one project called Team Template Bot, just a normal bot. The first step, we have to install this new kit package so go to NuGet Package Manager. We can search plugin, this Microsoft Semantic Kernel plugin. If you search it, you can find there are a lot of plugins available. You can select this plugin, Azure AI Community Microsoft Semantic Kernel plugin dot intent. The latest package is available beta 6. You have to install this package first. The next step, we go to documentation part. In the documentation part, I specified two type of template you can use. One for default template. Another template, you can create your own customized template to find the intent. If you want to use the default template, you no need to provide any sample. You can just pass the your query to the semantic kernel pipeline. It will generate the intent for you. As I mentioned, the second customized template. So you can create your own template. Template means you can create your own sample. This sample you have to provide this plugin. So the plugin will find the intent based on your template. So here I written the example using the movie related information. So here I added a, my template, my own template. This template I passed here. This is a template one. And if you want to provide the intent, also you can provide it. So I need only this type of intent. If any other intent is coming, this should treat it as an unknown intent. So find the intent only within this intent list. That also you can pass it. That is the second, third argument here. The second argument, you have to specify your core theme. Okay, what type of template you are using it? Whether this is a movie related template or it's a pizza related template. What is your core? That also you have to pass it here. Here I specified example, booking a movie ticket. Let's move on to Visual Studio. We'll implement this customized template and we find the intent. In the Visual Studio, here I have created one folder called the movie template. In the movie template, I created one JSON file. JSON file. This JSON file, I just created some list, list of samples, some uh, three samples here I generated. One for the intent is cancel ticket. So for example, I need to cancel my ticket. So the intent is cancel ticket and different entities. So what is the movie name? What is the show time? That information. Another intent is a rebook ticket. So if you want to rebook ticket, that also an intent. Another intent is a find movie. If any movies, new movie, you are going to release something like that. So that also I added here, one of the intent is a find movie. And in the movie template, this is all user defined classes. What I did, I just read this JSON file first step. After that, I deserialize the file i prepare i created the class for this deserialization file so entity class here you can see the booking template class the input booking output all this all all are customized uh, class files based on my json file to deserialize the class i use this class deserialized after that i use this template example this template example class provided by this plugin. So here you have to specify what is your input, what is your output. This template you have to specify. 
uh, here we seen the uh, template no so this is the input and the output this information you have to provide it so i prepared the complete json file so i prepared my template example so once the template is ready i just return this template examples go to the root dialog class in the root dialog class first i call the template movie template so generate the template so the, it will return the template example the next step i prepared all the intent so what are the intent i used in my my json file for example i used a rebook cancel booking and a ticket availability i didn't specify i think i didn't specify the ticket availability so this is a fine movie this is not related ticket availability so i just add this also in here find the movie that's it here i did not add the movie booking in the json file you can see there is uh, no movie booking uh, intent but still you want to use a new intent also still you can provide this information movie, movie booking the next step i created one more class called sk helper this is a semantic kernel helper class in this helper class first i prepared the kernel object so i passed my deployment name endpoint key all the information the main core is here so we are going to use the intent plugin i just created the intent plugin object first argument we have to pass a kernel object this kernel object the next core theme so the core theme is movie booking and the intent list and template this are the information i should pass the intent plugin so for sk helper class there is a function called process async function here i passed all the required parameter this information i passed to the my intent plugin the next step here i hard code the value i like to i like to book my ticket for 7 pm a show something like this so what i am going to do i just pass this information runtime so here i passed one more argument prompt prompt this input pass from the prompt variable we, we pass here so that dynamically we can fetch the information that's it so once you, we call this kernel pipeline it will return the kernel uh, result there is a context in the context we can read the value this is a string so this string contains our the our uh, information okay what is the intent what are the entities is available in this list that all the information available in this string variable that i assign to the input value this is written as a json string so once the i received the output i passed to the json serializer to deserialize this object so booking output which this class i created here this booking output that's it let's run this application and see the result application has started go to the emulator restart the conversation send message i need to book uh, jailer movie this night at maybe 10 pm so once i submitted here this information passed to the this information passed to the kernel pipeline so the kernel pipeline used this plugin to extract the information this is called and here you can see the output the output is this in text we passed i need to book jailer movie this night at 10 pm the intent find is movie booking score uh, reached 
the remaining information is the entity. Entity is movie. Which movie? That value is the jailer. And show time value is 10 p.m. That's it. So once we deserialized, we get this information in the our user defined class booking output. The booking output same information which is seen in the JSON file. The text information and intent and entities. The next step, if we find movie name in the entity, we take this movie name and pass to the other plugin to get some video related about this movie. This movie video also we pass to the user. 